Mike, as many of us know, hair salons already went through a months long closure back in spring. Now it's looking like we might be at the start of another one. And that means that many business owners are going to have to make some tough decisions, just like sports clips behind me. We've tried to go above and beyond every possible measure that's been thrown at us to stay open. Um, so it's it's been a challenge. The Sports Clips location on Callaway Drive has looked and operated a little differently as of late, with plastic dividers now occupying the spaces in between chairs, temperature checks being irregular, and all haircuts happening by appointment only. All of it's being done in the name of keeping people safe amid the pandemic, but now it's looking like that won't be enough, as Kern Public Health described on Thursday. The governor's order, uh, we believe, will apply locally in Kern County tomorrow morning. As of Friday morning, county officials say it's likely that many industries will be ordered to shutter indoor services, including hair salons. That means sports clips chairs would be empty for the time being. State guidelines do allow hair salons to operate outdoors, but some aren't thrilled with the idea of being outside. It's really, really, really hot. <laughs> um, I have asked some of my clients about it and they're just like, that's insane. For some, the thought of working in Bakersfield's triple digit heat is daunting enough, but the mechanics of creating a functional hair salon outdoors would be a tough one too. It's unknown how long Governor Newsom's orders would be in effect, but Sokolow says if potential closures go on longer than a few weeks, they'll likely start thinking of ways to do business outside. You've got shampoo bowls, you've got, you know, electric equipment that needs to be plugged in or charged, and you need mirrors. Um, there's a lot of things that make it a lot more difficult as a hair salon to be able to do something like that. Now, in order for businesses to move outside, they're going to need to get a special events permit from the city of Bakersfield. It cost $86, and the city says they're working, they're willing to work with most businesses as long as they found a way to uh, do their business outside while meeting all of those safety modifications. But for now, here in Northwest Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you.